Muchas gracias. Gracias. Hey guys, Alberto from Mexico City going over to uh, our program that we're doing five hours a day. You see the traffic is pretty crazy. And one of the things that we have been learning about is, is how important rest is. You know, it's one of the things that I really talk about all the time. You, you have to get yourself at least eight hours of sleep. That's one of the easiest ways to work more efficiently, more effective, be more focused. But one of the things that we've been learning about is obviously there's different types of sleep, right? And everybody knows about REM sleep or REM sleep. Um, but there is actually a type of sleep which is the most important. It's the most restorative. Um, that's where your organs, gosh, stop it, your organs um, recover, right? From your heart, lungs, I mean, all your vital organs. And this is necessary every night. And they call it deep sleep. And you should have about between, at least a minimum an hour of night of deep sleep, anywhere between an hour, but it's more ideal to be, have closer to an hour and a half of deep sleep. And if you're not getting enough of this deep sleep, and again, it's only about an hour, hour and a half per night, that's when you're waking up not feeling 100%. You know, you're feeling tired, you're feeling uh, maybe not motivated to go to work or, or go work out. And so, here's a couple of things that, that we've learned and we've experimented with ourselves. There's a few things that hinder deep sleep. They, uh, they're horrible for us. Let's see, make sure I don't get hit here. Okay. Make sure we're going down the right way. Let's go ahead and cross right here. Yes, this is crosswalk. Almost got hit right there. Sometimes they don't obey the crosswalks. Um, but there's a few things. So there's three nights. I'm, I'm wearing this ring that, uh, monitors everything and there's only been three nights that my sleep score is below 90 and and the reason why the main reason why even though I got over eight hours sleep one one night I got nine and a half hours sleep the reason why is because of the deep sleep I didn't get to recover and it was amazing how tired I woke woke up even though I slept nine hours so you know very simple two of the things that you want to make sure you don't do number one is don't eat any heavy meals uh, several hours before. You know, one time I ate, uh, well, we had tacos. We were craving tacos and it, we had them about 8, 8.30. And then the other night I had like a big ribeye with my mom at a really nice steakhouse. That makes your heart rate, your resting heart rate actually go up. It makes your deep sleep go down. I only had about 30 minutes of deep sleep both of those nights. And again, I felt super tired. So think about that. You know, have you had times where you have a big meal, right? Maybe later than you should, whether it's Italian steak, whatever it is, and you just don't sleep as well. And the next day, you're not so motivated. You can't really get out of bed. You really don't feel like working out. Well, that's exactly what is going on. It's, it's very measurable. The other time was um, a few days ago, I decided to have a double espresso at five in the afternoon. That's another thing is that if you have coffee, which you know I love coffee, have it in the morning, but stop drinking it by lunchtime. That's another thing, that's the one night where my sleep score was well below 90. Um, I had a double espresso about 5 p.m. And again, I, I slept fine, you know, I had no problem going to sleep, falling asleep, it doesn't keep me up. And I've always said that, people always ask, does it keep you up? No, it doesn't keep me up, I can go to sleep. But one of the things that I wasn't measuring before was my deep sleep and it really affected my deep sleep. So make sure that you don't do those two things. Don't eat very heavy meals later in the day and cut off the caffeine late in the day as well and i think that as long as you do that you're going to be able to get the deep sleep that you need you're going to be able to recover at night feel refreshed in the morning and be ready to go so alberto and sarah but not really sarah mostly alberto um we'll talk to you on the next video guys from mexico city have a great day